everybody. Hope you're having a great day. And if you're new here, I'm Misty and I go to mom and pop shops, hole in the wall places, anywhere on Oahu, fancy places, I don't care. As long as it's got good food and you're a foodie, I want to go there. So today we're going to a hole in the wall. Um, not going to tell you too much of the backstory, but I got an emergency root canal two days ago. It doesn't really hurt, but my mouth hurts because they kept jamming that metal thing in there to work on it. So um, I figured I'm craving some kanji. In Hawaii, we call it juk a lot, something soft to eat. And I heard that uh, there's a place here in um, Chinatown in the Cultural Plaza, kind of near Kent's Drive-In and Royal Kitchen. Let me flip it. So here I am, that's Royal Kitchen. They're known for their manapuas, everybody knows that. Kent's drive-ins here. This is Kukui Street. And unfortunately, it looks like they're making another terrible condo that none of us can afford. And that's Kukui Cafe right there. Um, I did a little thing on them. So um, let's go check it out. So now that you know where it is, we're at Royal Kitchen. Most people know where that is. This is the walkway um, to, I believe, the cultural plaza walkway with, where everybody hangs out. This is it. It's Heaven Chinese Noodle Barbecue and Cafe. They're supposed to have some great kanji, great chow fun, which I don't think I can eat. And I'll try to eat some dumplings. I'm curious. If you're wondering, this is the business hours, 7 to 3, 7 to 1 on Sundays, closed on Tuesdays. So it's more of like a breakfast lunch joint. So it's super tiny in here and there's a lot of people eating already. And this is their menu. We've got different mixed drinks, coffees, dumplings. I'm here for the kanji and I'm gonna pick the pork. We also got fried noodles and chow fun, plate lunches, fried rice, and curry plates. There's an open kitchen. You can see Auntie and her son cooking. And here's the notice for the free 30 minute parking at the open market. All right, so my food came out. I got some hot kanji. It comes here because I said I might take it out if I can't finish it. And I got my dumplings and my hot milk tea mixed with coffee. And you can get it cold as well. I heard if you don't come for the kanji right away in the morning, right now it's 8.35, it will sell out quickly. They're known for their juk, so it um, looks great. I got the pork, I wanted the salt egg, but they didn't have it today. Looks like there's some bean curd in here too, which is awesome because that's one of my favorites. It's full of Chinese people con conversing, so hopefully you can hear me, but it shows its authenticness. It's a little gritty, the table's a little sticky, but it kind of adds to the um, environment, I guess, the atmosphere. Mm. Nice and hot. Good flavor. Lots of chunks of ground pork. I'm not totally a fan of kanji all the time, but this one tastes really good. Unfortunately, I'm used to having shredded lettuce and cilantro or Chinese parsley and some green onions. This does not have any. The pork is tender, so I don't have to chew too much, but it's nice and meaty and has a good flavor. It seems like the bean curd sticks are broken up finely, so you don't even have to chew that. But I, I do like these uh, bean curd sticks, but they're crumbled up inside here, and they're really soft. It's really tiny in here. There's about like five tables, maybe. So um, I probably look crazy vlogging in here to these uh, old Chinese men talking. You probably think I'm nuts, but whatever. But man, what a deal for this, um, I believe it's $7, it used to be like six fifty. but with the inflation, this still is a deal for this much kanji. If you're asking for non-takeout, if you can finish it right away, they give you a huge white bowl of it. Perfect consistency, it's not too watery, it's not too gelatinous, so you can cook, tell it's been cooked today. Really light on the uh, flavors such as the ginger, but you know what's in there. And it's good for, you know, if you have an upset stomach or something, if you want something light for breakfast. All right, let's taste these dumplings. 
You get seven pieces, they're pretty big. And um, it's $5. You can ask for these in soup or pan fried. I got pan fried. If you ask for it with soup, I thought they were like soup dumplings, like from Shanghai, but they're actually the same dumplings like this, but put in a broth. So it's almost like a wonton min, but not a wonton min without any noodles. So um, let's try it out. Mm. Mm. It's got lots of meat. They don't um, skimp on it. Lots of pork in there. A little bit of cabbage that I hear, uh, you know, when it's crunching in your mouth. The dumpling skin is very tender and it's actually easy for me to eat if I eat it on the other side of my mouth. Very flavorful. I don't know what pan they're using, but you definitely taste some kind of, um, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to say wake, but something like that. That smoky flavor of a hot pan. Um, it's got that nice crisp crust on the outside of the wonton skin. I would say it's pretty authentic here. I'm the only person that's not like, um, uh, like, like, I'm Chinese, but like local. These are real Chinese people. They barely understood my order. Um, so they don't really speak much English. Not the friendliest people, but I mean, the service was quick. I got my food. Um, can't complain. It wasn't like rude, rude. Um, food came out super fast, so if you're in a rush, it's not too bad. But you definitely know it's authentic with all these guys in here and another lady came in and they're all speaking. Uh, Cantonese. Uh, or maybe it's Mandarin. I have no clue. All right, let's try the coffee. This is milk, tea, and coffee mixed together. It looks kind of similar to what I got at the next door place, Kukui Cafe. Like a Hong Kong milk tea. Ooh. This one's good. Definitely get this. This would be delicious on ice too. They do sell it cold. I think this one's better than the Kukui Cafe one. That one was a little bit too strong. This one definitely has more milk tea in it. Mm. These pan fried dumplings though, I wish there was shoyu and vinegar or like a spicy sauce to dip it in, but there are no condiments here except, I don't know what this is, if it's salt or sugar. I'm thinking it might be sugar for your coffee. But other than that, it's chopsticks and napkins, that's it. But you know what? You don't really need a dipping sauce. This is really good. All right, it was time to skedaddle out of there because they turned on some Chinese music and it was super loud. I don't mind it, but um, you can't hear anything. But I guess the guests enjoy it. Um, we'll talk about some thoughts on the way back to the car. But um, let me show you something flipping it around this is the parking lot that they validate so it's like the open market over there so you can check it out as well and then you walk just right over here and there it is the heaven Chinese noodle and barbecue cafe and um, over there is the walkway to Royal Kitchen and such I parked at the Cultural Center and um, they also give you the free 30 minutes, so it's kind of the same. It's just a little bit more of a walk, but I don't mind. Um, I'm gonna talk about some things in there that I didn't get to before they started um, playing the music on the TV, but um, I noticed that maybe they thought, because I wasn't Chinese, even though I'm part Chinese, but uh, like full on Chinese that speaks Mandarin or Cantonese, that they didn't put the green onion in there because another guy sat next to me afterwards and he had a bowl uh, to sit in and he had all the fixings on there. I didn't, but it's cool. Maybe they thought I didn't want it, but you know what? Without it, I honestly think the seasoning's on point. Um, it's, even though it's kind of like a comfort food that's simple, I think they balance the salt really well. Um, sometimes you get juk or kanji and there's not enough salt or it's too salty and this one was perfect so I can see why they're really popular with the um, Chinese here the immigrants um, because everyone I'm not exaggerating that came in spoke Chinese when they ordered and they were conversing in Chinese so I was kind of like the odd ball out um, but uh, it's comfortable in there 
I ate and enjoyed myself and relaxed. And um, it's fairly clean, but it's a hole in the wall. What do you expect? You can't expect too much. Uh, the thing I that really surprised me the most was that milk coffee tea. If you're into like boba teas, like the actual boba that's um, classic, not the stuff that they're making that's too fancy now, like the ube kind, like the actual milk tea, you will really like their milk tea and coffee mix. That was delicious. Um, it reminded me of a very good boba tea without the boba in it, just that nice creamy milk tea. And if you've never had it, it's kind of more like a darker black tea taste, um, if I'm describing it correctly, but it's all I can think of, but a, a pleasant taste with a lot of creaminess to it but when they put the coffee in it it kind of balances out the flavors and it's got sugar in it so it is sweet um, and it's nice and creamy uh, and that's saying a lot from a black coffee drinker it's uh, quite delicious i definitely get it again that was amazingly delicious and the dumplings were also seasoned perfectly so i could only imagine if i had uh, no pain and i could eat chow fun and uh, they also have um, I think they have the famous look fun. Um, they stir fry it sometimes with different things. Uh, sometimes they have that beef tendon. Um, I'm sure they will season it well and it would taste very good. Um, so definitely check them out. They also have special chasu plates on Saturdays and Sundays on the weekends only. Um, plate lunch style with chasu. Um, don't forget they have noodles um, with um, the greens either bok choy or choy sum with the sauce and the tendons and the meat or stir fried stuff so check out their menu people posted on yelp and you know i did show a little bit of it and the prices the prices can't be beat i have not seen food this cheap for a long time and so um, with the free 30 minute parking if you want to just pick up and go and take it home it's a deal i took 20 dollars with me cash remember cash only uh, they don't take credit cards they gave me two dishes and a coffee drink, so can't go wrong. $15.50, I think. I might be wrong, or maybe it was $15.75. I'm not sure, but I got change back, so definitely a deal for those on a budget. Um, and yeah, it's a rainy, nice day, kind of drizzly, supposed to get windy later on, so that juke was in the spot and I have a lot more to take home for that price this is a lot of joke it's like my head so it's a big takeout container if you do eat in that bowl is massive the guy that sat next to me I don't know if I could finish that so lots of food great prices great taste check out new heaven it used to be Kong Ki Chinese fast food but now it's called new heaven heaven so um, check them out right next to Royal Kitchen and uh, spend the day in Chinatown and eat some awesome food. So until next time, I'll see you again on another food adventure. Uh, if you like this and it was informative, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again next time. Have a great weekend and take care of yourselves.